David has three apples in his bag. If Jane gives one apple to David, we know the total number of apples with David will become four. Similarly, if there are four apples in David's bag, and if Jane gives one apple to him, David will have five apples. Imagine that the number of apples in David's bag is given as n, and Jane gives one apple to him. Can you guess the number of apples David will have now? We know that the total number of apples is got by adding what David had in his bag at first, and the number of apples given to him by Jane. Since the number of apples David had at first has been given as n, we can say that the total number of apples David has now is n plus one. Let us take another example. This box has p chocolates. If I take two chocolates from the box, the box will now contain two less than before. We say that there are p minus two chocolates in the box now. N plus one and p minus two are called. Algebraic expressions. Can you guess how many pencils are here? There are three pencils here. Similarly, we say q plus q plus q is three q. Can you guess what is n plus n plus n plus n? Yes. Four n. Look at the figure shown. How many are two pencils plus three pencils? Five pencils. Similarly, when we add two p and three p, we get five p. And if we subtract four p from five p. We will get one p, which is written as just p.